So my question is, why are we here? It's a big question. Why are we here? It's uh, interesting to ponder that question, but we'll never know the answer to that. The, the real question I think we should be asking ourselves is, since we are here, what should we be doing? And I think we really want to connect with each other and bridge the gaps, and the way to do that is communication. And um, different people have different ways of communicating. Uh, speaking and talking is one of the main ways, but for other people it might be singing or dancing or touching or sports. Uh, for me, um, as a shy kid growing up, it was art. And so I could spend time by myself and uh, do my thing, express myself, and not have to interact with um, people. Um, <laughs> and I'm still an artist. I've been doing it all my life, amongst other things, as you just heard. Um, I actually have a show uh, that's opening in uh, a week from tonight at a building a block away. It's a really cool space. I'm showing, the show is called Score, and I'm showing uh, a selection from 20 years of my artwork. So I have cards back here, hopefully, pick one up and come to the show because um, it's a cool space and a good selection of work too. So this is, uh, back to communication, this is a, a chart I found where it's showing the different levels of intimacy in communication. Uh, the least being a tweet and the most intimate being talking to one-on-one. -on -one. Um, people these days are upset with some kids only tweeting or texting and they feel like they're not really uh, connecting with each other. The reason I'm here is to talk about this uh, mobile app that I've developed with uh, Kyle Coburn, who's my next door neighbor. Lily Guild is, uh, did the design on this. Um, and in a way, uh, this is a communication that falls into one of the lesser levels of intimacy. But um, I feel like if you engage in something like this and face-to-face -face or IRL communication, as they say in real life, uh, it can enhance it can enhance your experience. So I'll tell you the story of how this came about. I, I'm an artist, and I was messing around in my sketchbook one day, and I came up with this little drawing. I played tic tac toe with myself, and it it was a draw, as it turned out. It didn't really matter <laughs> whether anyone won or not. Uh, it was just a cool thing to do. And then I had the idea that I could share this and do this with other people. Get out of the studio and interact with people in cafes, bars, restaurants. The mayor is here, she played artists, not artists. And we came up with some very cool creations. And it was more about, wasn't about winning the game, obviously. It was more about um, creating a collaborative, uh, interesting piece of artwork uh, with other people. Um, and so I was telling a guy I met in Aspen uh, last summer about this, and he and I were going to do this together, but we didn't have time. I had to head back to California, and on my way back, he sent me a text message with a photo, and it was an X of some pine branches, and he said, upper right corner. And I said, oh, okay, I get it. And so I sent him one back with an O describing where I was and where it should be placed, and we created this whole thing together. And so it, it ended up being a grid that I put together in Photoshop. And out of this, our app came about. This is a, uh, a screenshot of it, and this shows the menu where you have the games you're currently playing, your photo feed, gallery, uh, your profile, and your friends. So initially, if you, when you first start playing this, you will not have any friends to play with. But if you click on that tab, you will get uh, an opportunity to send an invitation to uh, anyone you want to, either a text message, uh, email, or put it on Twitter and Facebook. Also, there's a gallery in the, in the app which shows you all the games that have ever been played. You can click on one of those and then click on uh, the person's name. I found Carol Ann on here and uh, challenged her to a game. I liked, I liked the work she was doing, and uh, I clicked on her name, and so then we can just create a game together. Um, and so once you do that, then uh, it takes you to a grid, a blank grid, and you can tap a square anywhere you want, and then that gives you the opportunity to use your camera, photo library, or old moves. You don't have any old moves yet if you're just starting, but I, I like using the camera because then you just tap on that, you can look at the world around you, you can look for X's and O's or whatever you wish uh, to play. It's really about my turn, your turn. Uh, and so this is a finished game. Um, 
And you can see th this is pretty much X's and O's, and it does look like there are three in a row, but it, it doesn't really matter if, if that happens or not. Um, but you, the cool thing about it is you're sharing with people, you're doing a, a photo collaboration with friends. Also, in a game like this, you can make it private if you want to. In this case, I was going to play a photo of my junk, which I would probably want to leave private. The world doesn't need to see that. Um, you can leave a comment also uh, down at the bottom and continue the conversation in that way. Um, and this is an example of uh, another screenshot of the game of all the games in the gallery. So there's hundreds of these. You can scroll through these. This game is live on the App Store right now. You can get it and check this out. So if you like one of these, you can click on one of these games. You can see the two people who played it, and you can play that person. And then also, um, we make it really easy to share. So you can share your own. You can share other games in the gallery. You can comment on them and like them. Um, and you can add it to your own photo library and uh, save it, uh, print it out. You can uh, share it on Instagram or however you want to do it. So um, like I say, this is live on the App Store right now. It's Tic Tac Photo. Our website is tictacfo.to. You go there. And you can get the app right now. I encourage you to get it while some of the other uh, presenters are giving their talks, and it gives you something to do. No, just, just kidding. <laughs> Thanks very much. I have some cards back here, and you can talk to me uh, how you want to get it. And uh, let's all play this game and make the world a better place. <laughs>